Hey guys, Dave here. We're gonna today we're gonna be doing a simple bolt uh, created in SolidWorks 2016. It'll be a quarter twenty cap screw. All right, let's get started by uh, creating a new part, and we're gonna create a sketch. This time we're gonna do it on the front plane and uh, we're going to create a, some circle geometry we're going to dimension that to a quarter inch that'll base our uh, main shaft diameter for the quarter 20 bolt and uh, next instead of extruding we're going to create the start off by creating the curve geometry uh, curve path and uh, by doing that we're going to select curves uh, helix spiral you got a bunch of different options here uh, pitch and revolution um, constant pitch variable pitch uh, lots of different ways to create lots of different uh, spirals and helixes um, uh, different dimensions and, and different ratios of that so we're gonna start out with a one inch long uh, but instead we're gonna do a height and pitch uh, fixed height and pitch so we're gonna do one inch and uh, like I said, you could create different pitch patterns for it, but um, for a quarter 20 bolt, we're going to have one inch long and we're going to have 0 0.05 pitch. Okay, uh, and now the last thing I'm going to do is uh, change the start angle to 90 degrees. And so that'll make the start of the curve on the right plane. And uh, we'll use that for later on uh, setting up some other geometry. Uh, I guess I need to turn on my curve visibility so I can see what I'm doing and um, next we'll go to the front plane and um, here we go front plane start a new sketch to create the shaft diameter of the bolt so we'll make another circle and uh, dimension it to quarter inch as well and this is just a simple bolt, um, not following any real dimensions of uh, um, actual uh, standard hardware, but just quarter inch bolt, quarter inch shaft. So we'll extrude that the one inch, and uh, so then I'm going to set up a just a nice chamfer on the front leading edge of the bolt, just to give it some uh, visible uh, lead in for the threads. Uh, that looks good. Okay, now that the chamfer is done, um, we'll go to uh, cutting the threads in. And uh, when I like the model, I like the model as in uh, if we were doing it in real life on a lathe. And so what we'll do is we'll set up some geometry. We'll start on the right plane, um, and uh, that's where the uh, making the 90 degrees. Um, start of the the curve comes into play and uh, we'll set up a uh, what would be in real life a single point cutting tool uh, for a lathe and uh, we're gonna set up uh, make the geometry we're gonna dimension the, the angle at 60 degrees the bottom of the the cut uh, 10 to 10 uh, 10 thousandths of an inch is, is pretty good It's pretty standard good good looking uh, for model aesthetics um, depth of cut um, for the single point tool let's let's uh, yeah let's make that uh, 25 thousandths and um, yeah got it set up there so next thing we'll do is we'll take the center point of the center of the the top and we'll pierce uh, we'll make a pierce mate uh, to the curve and um, there we've got it set up at the start of the curve um, of the helix and uh, we'll get exit out of there yep start a sweep cut and pick the sketch profile and the curve as the uh, line to follow and uh, hide the helix there so we get a better picture of what we got and there are our threads and um, that's pretty much it for for creating the, the bolt threads visually all right. Next thing we want to do is create the uh, the head for the the bolt. We're doing a cap screw here, so 
Well, let's uh, start a sketch on uh, the end of the extrude and grab the, the hex tool and uh, pull that out uh, drop in uh, some geometry and uh, then we'll just throw a dimension on here um, and uh, yeah we'll put that at uh, let's see half an inch uh, for right now and um, before we uh, before we exit out of the sketch um, go ahead and fix the uh, orientation of one of the lines uh, of the of the sketch to vertical to lock that in uh, fully constrained sketches are always good and so uh, we'll extrude, extrude that and uh, go ahead and extrude the head out don't need it one inch long which was left in there from last time and uh, we'll just pop a dimension in here quarter inch uh, looks alright for right now um, actually let's make that uh, yeah, two hundred thousandths looks good. All right, uh, looking at my sheet here at uh, my callouts, uh, head's looking a little big. So let's check the let's check the spec sheet, and actually that should be a nine sixteenths. And uh, change that. Uh, refresh. Yeah, it's looking a little better. And uh, yeah, it's probably a little too thick there. Uh, sheet, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, 188. So, uh, yeah, so that looks much better. So, now we have the head there, uh, but uh, I like to make it a little more realistic. So, I'm actually going to put some chamfers around the head of the, uh, the flats there. And uh, so, we're going to start a sketch on the right plane. And, uh, We'll get to uh, make a center line, and you can do this any way you want, but this is how I prefer to do it. Uh, like I said, in, in, in a real life application where we would actually turn the chamfer. So I'm going uh, to create the get, the, get the corner, and uh, make two little, uh, uh, two little right angle uh, chamfer cuts, and I'm going to make the endpoints horizontal and the uh, line segments equal and uh, then I'm going to uh, oops, uh, throw a little dimension in there and uh, let's see, let's make this uh, yeah, 30 thousandths 45 yeah, 50 50 looks pretty good alright, so then we're going to exit out of there and we're going to do a uh, revolve cut and um yeah, just puts a more realistic look to the head. All right, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I'm gonna save this off uh, to my desktop as a, just a cap screw. Save it for the next video, which uh, come back and join us. We'll be talking about configurations and taking this file and uh, making some uh, different uh, configurations uh, for heads. Um, so uh, thank you for watching. Um, uh, give us a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos go check out our other stuff uh, where we uh, laser and tear up all kinds of stuff on, on some co2 and fiber laser machines thanks everybody and we'll catch you on the next one